I'm gonna talk about how to save on fresh produce and meat. So these are not common coupons that we see, right? We're not getting these in our Sunday papers at all, but there are still a lot of ways to save. One of them is to make sure that you are signed up for your local store's email or mailing list. Quite often they will send these types of coupons, produce and meat, to get you in the store because they are so rare and they're common purchases. So they might send you a dollar off grape tomatoes. You're gonna go to that store and make a much more significant purchase at that time. So it's worth it to them to discount that. The other tip here when you're looking to get some savings on meat is to look at the prices, right? So they will discount meat that is maybe nearing its expiration but hasn't hit it yet. And that's okay, right? If you buy that meat and you use it immediately or you freeze it, it's just as good as if you bought meat that was $3 more. Lastly, buy in bulk. Go, instead of buying four chicken breasts, buy the 20 chicken breasts, split them up and freeze them individually. You're gonna save a heck of a lot more if you take that approach. So there's just a few tips on how to save on fresh produce and meat.